minutes. Thank you so much, Mr. Speaker, and I thank my good friend from Colorado for the time, Mr. Buck, and I want to thank uh, uh, Chairman Henserling uh, because these bills that we're combining today uh, came out of his committee. I want to thank him for his leadership in bringing these important bills uh, before us today. And I rise in support of H.R. 1638, the Iranian Leadership Asset Transparency Act. Uh, I want to thank uh, our good friend uh, from Maine, Bruce uh, Poliquin, for his work in authoring this bill. And it's a critical step, a necessary step, in holding the Iranian regime accountable for its money laundering, for its terror financing, and other wide-ranging criminal activities. The Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, known by its initials, its acronym IRGC, has long been at the heart of the Iranian criminal enterprise, controlling the better part of Iran's economy in key sectors like oil, like gas, telecommunications, and transportation. The IRGC's business empire and monopoly of these economic sectors provides the regime with billions of dollars that it uses to do what? To feed the people, to clothe the people, to educate the children? No, to repress the Iranian people and to export the terror uh, that it has uh, done so much damage in throughout the world and its hateful ideology abroad. Two years ago, I held a hearing of our subcommittee on the Middle East and North Africa where we explored the role of the IRGC, and again, that is the Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps. Uh, we, we looked at the role of the IRGC in Iran's economy, and we raised these very concerns, Mr. Speaker, so I want to thank Chairman Henserling for his leadership on this issue and his consistent efforts to hold Iran accountable, because that is what we're trying to do, hold these terrorists accountable. This is one of the many issues where the Financial Services and the Foreign Affairs Committee have done a great job of working together to implement targeted sanctions against the Iranian regime for its illicit activity. For years, our Treasury Department has been working to identify and to sanction IRGC leader, uh, leaders. They have shell companies. We've been looking at what are these shell companies. Let's identify and let's sanction them. Their proxies. Let's designate and warn foreign companies about the risk of doing business with the IRGC's connected entities as fast as the IRGC can create new ones. We shut them down, new ones prop up. Unfortunately, the misguided JCPOA has made Treasury's job even harder with the IRGC collecting billions from the financial windfall created by new outside investments in the very sectors previously targeted by our sanctions. So it is important now more than ever that Treasury publicizes the assets controlled by the Revolutionary Guard Corps and the rest of Iran's corrupt leadership for two reasons, Mr. Speaker. First, so that the long-suffering people of Iran, with whom we have no, no problem, we want to help the people of Iran, so that these people have a window into the regime's pervasive theft and corruption that deprives them of the most basic of commodities. Second, so that businesses stop funneling cash into these criminal enterprises that are financing terror throughout the world. This bill will help shine a necessary light on these nefarious actions of Iran, both inside and outside of, of the country, and I urge for its swift passage. So I thank the gentleman for the time, and I give back to the